My son Matthew did not look like a winner. He was rather uncoordinated and wore braces from the age of 13 until the day he died. Here I am, I'm 26, I'm gay. I was in the newsroom at the Casper Star Tribune where I was a reporter. And then an anti-gay hate crime happens to one of my friends. It was unfathomable to me, the description of the violence. Matt was beaten in the head and the face, struck between 19 and 21 times uh, with the butt end of a 357 Smith & Wesson. Matthew was covered in blood, and the only place where there was, uh, there was no blood where, is where a tear had run down from his eye across his cheek. On October 6, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero lost. My first reaction was, why wasn't I there? because I still have this haunting feeling that he was crying for dad. You know, dad, help me, help me. This was a story that got the world's attention. It was an entry point for people who didn't know that this kind of thing even happened, the, the severity of attacks on gay people. Prior to the Shepherd investigation, I was uh, completely and, and fully homophobic. The word faggot came out of my mouth as easily as I love you did to my children. And it didn't take uh, too long for me to begin to realize that all of the myths and stereotypes that I'd bought into all of my life were, uh, were just that. A lot of people began to send us cards and letters, emails, and some of them included money. And we chose to use that money to make a difference, do something positive. The world made the Matthew Shepard Foundation happen. It insisted on it. The Shepherds were called to do this work because people needed to hear from them. This afternoon, I signed into law the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act. That was one of Judy's goals. They had told her, we've been trying to get this law passed for 30 years. You'll never get it done. It took her another 10 years, but she got it done. The most perplexing thing about hate for me is it's a conscious choice. You choose to do that. You learn to do that. It's not going to stop until we all decide by the millions that we aren't going to live in that world anymore. Those few of us who are fortunate enough to know him have always discouraged people from making him out to be a martyr. The important thing about Matt Shepard was he was a person. Just remember that Matthew was not my gay son. He's my son who happens to be gay.